Coming up on Midco Sports tonight, the SDSU men's basketball team is at Powerhouse Hoops School, Kansas to take on the Jayhawks. We'll give you a preview of that matchup. And then it's a rivalry week in a variety of ways. Alex Heinert previews the third-ranked UND men's hockey team at first-ranked Denver, and then a rivalry Jacks versus Coyotes head-to-head -head battle with a special guest coming in studio to predict tomorrow's winner. All that plus much more, Midco Sports Tonight kicks off right now. Hello and happy Friday, everyone. I'm Kelly Stewart, and this is Midco Sports Tonight. Well, this weekend is a huge weekend for a variety of sports in our region. Obviously, we have the huge rivalry game on the gridiron tomorrow in Vermilion, but the hoop scene has a very good matchup coming tonight. So let's start with that. The South Dakota State men's basketball team is in Lawrence, Kansas tonight to take on the fourth-ranked Kansas Jayhawks in historic Fog Allen Fieldhouse. SDSU and KU have faced off only two twice in program history with the Jayhawks holding a two to nothing advantage in the series. The last battle on the hardwood was December 4th, 1984, in which Kansas won 85 to 72 in Lawrence. The Jackrabbits are off to a three and start though to this season after defeating UC Irvine, U Mary and Alabama State in the opening week. South Dakota State entered 2017-18 as the Summit League's preseason top pick after earning the league's automatic bid a year ago to the NCAA tournament. The Jacks return four starters and eight letter winners from a year ago and also add seven newcomers to the roster. And Summit League preseason player of the year Mike Dom is the nation's top returning scorer and is off to another fast start averaging a double-double so far this year. 21.3 points and 10.7 rebounds per game. And Jayhawks head coach Bill Self has coached some of the best in the nation in his program and still has a tremendous amount of respect for this Jacks standout junior. They'll have the best player arguably on the court most nights that they play. Uh, he's a, you know, if, if he stays for all four years, he'll undoubtedly go down as one of the 10 leading scorers in the history of the sport in the NCAA and so, so uh, at least he, he should be on pace to do that. And when you have a when you have their five and four man that attempted 17 threes last game and, and made 10 of them and then you think well that's who Doak's going to be guarding and that's not what he does so so we'll have to come up with some way to to, to uh, at least try to neutralize it. And I would say uh, uh, a poor man's bird. He can really really shoot He's got all the footwork, all the shot fakes, all that in his game. And he, 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 he can post, obviously, but he, he's... Now joining me to preview this matchup a little more, it's our very own Kevin Romery from Midco SN Kansas, located in Lawrence. And he is very familiar with this Jayhawk squad, so it works out perfectly that SDSU and KU are going at it this season. But Kevin, before we get to tonight's matchup, let's talk about KU's most recent game. It was a big one, the Battle of the Blue Bloods against the University of Kentucky. So talk about the big matchup with the Wildcats and how that game unfolded. Yeah, Kelly, obviously that's a game that, that Kansas fans and I think most of this community had, had circled from the get-go. Uh, game number two right out of the chute, uh, a couple of the top ten teams in the nation. And I don't know if it lived up to the hype. Kansas certainly glad that it got a victory in that game, but I don't know that either team played really well. Kansas is going to be a, a squad that performs well when it, it shoots the ball really well because inside there aren't many options, really just one at this point. But the guys that you expect to knock down the three pointers just simply didn't make very many against Kentucky. Jayhawks just eight of 28 from long range in that game and Devontae Graham and Malik Newman, the guys that you expect to lead the charge. Those two guys just seven of 28 shooting the basketball overall. That's the bad news for Bill Self. The good news is his team's still able to knock off a top 10 team when not shooting very well. So if you're a Kansas fan, you look forward in this thing and think, hey, this squad is going to shoot better. And, and when it does, it is very dangerous. All right, well, that's always a relief. Obviously, Kentucky, a team with great tradition, but the Jayhawks have that too. So we know KU is a perennial power, but each year their team is a little bit different. So tell us what this year's team does particularly well. Well, the last two years, this Kansas team has been, been very different than really the first 10 or 12 years that Bill Self was here. Um, last year, most of the season, saw a four, uh, four guard lineup on the floor most of the time. Thought Bill might get away from that a little bit this year with, with Billy Preston, the freshman, coming in. But 
He has not yet played, uh, was not going to play uh, against South Dakota State uh, on Friday night. So really just one post player for Kansas. Now, maybe the biggest post player in the country in Yudoka Azubuki, and, and Jack Rabbit fans will get a chance to see him. He is an absolute load inside, but what really separates this Kansas team from other ones we've seen is, is how quickly this team goes from end to end. And I mentioned didn't shoot very well against Kentucky, but it's something that by the time we get to the end of the year, this will be a very good shooting team. So the style of play, uh, Bill's going to run it up and down the floor, usually likes to run a high low with his bigs, but I don't think you'll see much of that. Uh, well, this season, and I certainly I don't think you'll see much of that on Friday night. All right, Kevin. Well, moving on to tonight's game. I know SDSU isn't exactly Kentucky, but this is a very good mid-major team, a tournament team from last year and looking to be much improved now in year two under TJ Otzelberger. So how does a team like KU perceive a team like the Jackrabbits? Well, obviously a smaller name in South Dakota State coming to Allen Fieldhouse, but you got a big name in that lineup in Mike Dom. You guys know all about him and trust me, Bill Self, knows about Dom as well. In fact, I asked him about Dom on Thursday and he said the guy that he really reminds him of that he compared him to, you'll love this, it's, it's Larry Bird. I mean, that's quite a compliment uh, for a guy that's playing in, in a little bit smaller conference. But historically speaking, teams that have really good players like a Mike Dom that have come to Allen Fieldhouse occasionally come in here and, and win a game. Now, Bill Self doesn't lose at Allen Fieldhouse very often. In fact, he has more Big 12 Conference regular season titles in 14 years than he has losses at Allen Fieldhouse. A few years ago, Nevada came in here. Nick Fizikas, almost by himself, knocked off the Jayhawks. So if ever there was a team equipped to maybe come in here and, and sneak away with a win, maybe it's South Dakota State. And I think, I think Kelly, the timing is perfect. The Jayhawks just coming off a big matchup with Kentucky. Didn't get home until 4 o'clock on Wednesday morning, didn't practice on Wednesday. So just one practice, maybe a little tired, maybe overlooking an opponent with a really good player. Um, maybe, you never know, it doesn't happen often. Kansas doesn't lose in Lawrence very often. But maybe, just maybe, Friday night's a chance for the Jackrabbits to catch the Jayhawks off guard. Well, hey, you never know what can happen, but uh, finally, no secret heading into this one, and you just touched on it, but Mike Dom is a national name on the basketball scene. Bill Self knows all about him, so talk about the Jayhawks matchup with Mike Dom. Well, certainly when he arrives here in Lawrence, he, he, will, not be, he will not be overlooked, and I'm sure he's used to that. Uh, even a big-time program like Kansas, the fans will know who this guy is. The, the folks here are very educated on basketball, not only in the Big 12, but, but across the country. Um, he'll, get a lot, uh, he'll get a lot of boos from people. They'll see him come in. I think people are excited to see him, but he's the kind of guy that, that can certainly make a big time difference in this game. As I mentioned a minute ago, Bill Self kind of comparing him to Larry Bird and then went on to say that if he stays around for four years, don't know if he's a candidate to, to leave early after this year being his junior year, but Bill said he's one of those guys that if he sticks around, expect to see his name in the top 10 lists all the time in, in NCAA basketball because he's scoring at such an incredible, uh, incredible clip. But like I said, the folks here, they love really good basketball. They, they love to see great players and uh, kind of hoping that Dom puts on a show tonight just not the type of show that maybe would get the Jackrabbits out of here with a victory. All right, well, definitely looking forward to this matchup, not only the Jacks and the Jayhawks, but our two Midco SN coverage areas going to edit in this one. So thank you so much, Kevin. Hey, thanks, Kelly. Thanks for having me and looking forward to seeing the Jackrabbits here uh, in Lords, Kansas. All right, good stuff. Well, again, that game tips off tonight at 7 p.m. from Fog Allen Fieldhouse down at KU. It'll be streaming live on ESPN3. Also, if you'd like to listen to the radio broadcast, you can find that link to it on the Jackrabbit Sports Network at GoJacks.com. When we come back, it's a brand new Mets Your Match feature with USD tight end Josh Hale in a sport other than football. That's all I'm going to say about this one. Stay right here. Midco Sports Tonight, presented by Avera Orthopedics.